based on what is known, what has been developed so far. With the pandemic, again, to see how fast, if you really put your, all your efforts to generate a product which makes a difference. Manufacturing is a critical enabler in the field of mRNA because in the end, you have to deliver the medication to the patient because it's important to deploy the RNA medication anytime and anywhere in the world. mRNA technology allows very fast vaccine development and manufacturing processes. It is uh, widely applicable, highly adaptable, and it elicits both humoral and cellular immune responses. CureVac was founded in 2000 here in Tübingen. It's a university city and where, by the way, in 1869 by Friedrich Michler, the nucleate acids have been discovered. And in the late 90s, Ingmar Herr, as a student in biology, discovered the RNA as a molecule which can be coded, which was known, but that the expression and the immune response on RNA was much better than what he had on a DNA. This is where CureVac started around the idea of making use of mRNA for changing today's medicine, which it did. CureVac's RNA printer is a highly automated device. It is very flexible. We can print, so to say, a lot of different medications. It is versatile and at the same time it is highly standardized. The high degree of automation allows us to be fast and deliver to the point. mRNA is short for messenger ribonucleic acid. It's responsible for transferring genetic information from the nucleus of a cell where it's stored in the shape of DNA into the cytoplasm where the mRNA is used as a template to make a protein. Typically, one mRNA uh, contains the genetic information for a single gene and in humans is translated into one protein. It is a molecule that is naturally occurring and comes up in every single cell of the body. The mission is really to use RNA in different areas of medical application to transform today's medicine, to make your body produce your own medicine. It is about coding the proteins which the body needs to be protected in prophylactic vaccines, for example, or in proteins which fight cancer. That is the mission, to code exactly these required proteins on RNA give it to the human body and then the body produces its own medicine for areas where there is a high unmet medical need. There are many scientists convinced that cancer is very much correlated to the immune system and the RNA medication is a perfect drug to interfere with that immune system and to provide new ways of curement to these diseases. That's the innovative aspect about mRNA. All of these innovations led at the end of the day, with then different other groups, other companies uh, appearing over the last years, have been founded to work exactly in this field because RNA just starts. What are other fields to be approached and what is it what we can do in order to be prepared for the next pandemic? Because two things are for sure, pandemic will come and the second thing, we don't know what it is, so we have to be prepared. It's important to be able to deploy the RNA medication anytime and anywhere in the world. Today with a new technology like RNA, it is not a customized manufacturing process. So the manufacturing process is very closely related to the RNA technology. The benefit of RNA is to be very fast. So you really can adopt the protein, what you're coding on the RNA, just by the next sequence you're producing. mRNA technology is a platform technology. That means manufacturing processes don't have to be changed because you change the vaccine that you would like to manufacture. Um, and this relatively fast um, adaptability for manufacturing was among the reasons that allowed mRNA vaccines to be provided um, in such a short period of time during the COVID-19 pandemic. 
the manufacturing is opening up the world for treatments of RNA, which you then on the development side can develop products for. But the more we learn globally about mRNA, the more doors will open to see where are we in a few years' time. It is a vision, certainly, RNA transforming today's way how we see medicines, but also from the regulatory path, how fast you can develop. And this will have an impact on human rights.